Are you running away from God? I'm going to get into that in this video here. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicholas Renner, and I'm here to tell you, are you running away from God? Do you keep sinning? Do you keep falling into that sin where you're just constantly ever so getting back into the things that held you to the world? Are you just forgetting about God? God called you to do great things. God called you to minister. God called you to preach. Or God called you to pick up his cross, like he says in the Bible. And you just keep running away. Well, I'm going to tell you a story about Jonah in the Bible. And even Jesus talks about Jonah. So that is another referencing point. There will be no sign given unto you except for the prophet Jonah. You ever heard of people saying, oh, about the whale? It's impossible for a fish to eat a person. Well, turns out there was people that were eaten by whales or eaten by fish or giant whales and survived that they didn't die they were they were ingested by these whales and were spat out so ladies and gentlemen you're running away from god well let's look at the, the story of jonah so jonah was this great man of god and there was a city called nineveh ungodly to the point where god was about to do what he did to sodom and gomorrah ran fire and brimstone right down on it it was just as far as you could go idol worship everything you could go and do that the lord detested back in those days and he was ready to wipe it off the planet so ladies and gentlemen what did he do he called jonah he called jonah to go to preach to them to give him a chance to let them repent to you know wear their sackcloth repent and do what they had to do Jonah heard of this, and he 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 was this kind of kind of more stubborn person, kind kind of like a lot of us can be. He he's already got on his boat. He's already favored by God. He's just wanna go go and do his thing, and he sees all these other people. They hate God. They he doesn't want them to have a chance. He just wants them to go all die. He doesn't want them to have a chance. He wants them to be eviscerated, obliterated, completely, pretty much nuked in those times. Hiroshima, Nagasaki, atomic bomb dropped on top of them, and they're all going. They're gone. They're completely off the planet. You can go to the Sodom and Gomorrah site, and there was 99% sulfur balls in the ground, and they try to say that is volcanic activity. That sulfur cannot be volcanic because it is so pure that it was it was you you find it like it was raining down from the sky so he just doesn't want to go so he gets on a boat he's traveling he's going to travel travel to get away he's pretty much running away from god he's doing everything he can he's forgetting about it he he, he tries to run away from god he think about that you know we forget sometimes that you know god you can't run away from god so he's running away you know god will let us go our own way if you keep keep forgetting about him keep doing his thing but god loves us so much he doesn't want any man to perish so he goes he runs away and he gets to the point where where he's on that ship and there was storms coming there was all all this bad stuff it, it, we got to the point where the storm was going to sink that ship all all the people were debating amongst themselves they were throwing everything overboard they could they didn't want to throw this guy overboard, but then then Jonah was like, "It's me. I'm the guy you're looking for. I've angered God, and those those fishermen, those those traders, they had great respect for the God of Israel. They had they had great respect for him. But, all right, we're we're gonna give God what He wants. They they threw him overboard, okay? And Jonah pretty much gave up. He, you know, was just letting himself let himself go at that point. So he gets swooped up. He gets swooped up by this, you know, fish. They say in the Bible, but you know, I I'd like to believe that it was probably a whale of some sort like some basking whale or um something something large enough to pick him up you know god 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 has control over all the all the animals of the earth so he commands this just like just like jesus said you know go go fishing and you're gonna find you're gonna find enough money in that fish to do what you gotta do so this this fish takes him up this whale or whatever it is and we don't know exactly what he was thinking about but he had enough time to contemplate in his life and what was going on enough time okay so he ends up getting spat out by this fish and then he, he ends up on he ends up completing the mission he goes to Nineveh he preaches repentance you only have this is this is the one chance you get if you don't repent you know there's gonna be bad things gonna happen here and finally it gets to the point where you know the king it was actually he didn't think it was gonna happen everything everything you know he was still being stubborn at that point they actually, they actually came to God. They repented of God. Didn't wipe them off the map like Jonah wanted them to be. You know, Jonah, Jonah was taking that, taking that stance. He wasn't thinking about what if that was him. What if that was him? 
being that being that ungrateful person, being that you know ungodly person. So they came to God. They wore sackcloth and they were spared. That great city of over a million people. In those times, was so many people was spared. So how does this how does this story relate to you, ladies and gentlemen? Well, I've I've been through it. Okay, where you you get caught up in all this stuff. You get caught up in the drugs. You get caught up in the smoking. You get caught up in the world. And you just run away from God. You you start you're scrolling all day on TikTok, on Instagram, on social media, forgetting about God, giving Him just a tiny tiny bit, and running away, running away. And God God does these things to call you back. God to call me back. I got in a car crash. I got arrested at one point. I almost went to jail. I almost lost my career. I almost lost, you know, everything. God will chastise his children, okay? And God will make it in a way. He'll 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 do things in a way so you learn your lesson, but you're not gonna die. Like God God had Jonah get tossed into the sea, these raging seas. How would you like to get tossed into a sea? You read about that. But how would you like to get tossed into the ocean, okay, with all these creatures with great white sharks and who knows the extinct creatures back in those times that could have just came up and ate them of the complete unknown we know more about space we know more about a lot of these things than we even know about our own ocean who knows what was going to be on who knows when you look down like you look into space you get you get frightened you look down there's it's pretty much space looking down okay so so think about that he was tossed into that ocean to pretty much die but god came god came and had a whale eat him up and he was living inside that belly of the whale. Okay. So so God is telling you today. God is telling you today is the day of salvation. This video is for you right now. That it's 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 about time. If you ever watch King Arthur, King Arthur God God used the King Arthur movie to tell me. King Arthur was running away from his destiny. Your destiny is in Jesus. King Arthur kept running away. You watch King Arthur. He kept running away. He kept running away from his destiny, but his destiny kept calling back to him. God, God keeps calling back to you. Okay. So it's about time right now to come back to give your life to the Lord. Get on the ground and pray. Say, Lord, I'm done running away. I'm done with the worldly things. I'm giving my life over to you. Take the ball. You watch football. You got to give God the ball. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes you can't try to run to the end zone on your own. Sometimes you got to hand that ball off. You got to hand the ball off, okay? You don't know what's going to happen when you hand when you hand the ball off. That's when that's when that Q that's when the QB you hand it off to you you can hand it off to someone that's playing the QB that's a wide receiver going to throw that ball into the touchdown. So you don't know. You don't know God's power unless you give faith to him. If Moses didn't have faith, that Red Sea wouldn't have split. Okay, all these people in the Bible, if they didn't have faith, the walls of Jericho, all these different things, all these men in the Bible, um, the lions in the den, with Daniel, if they didn't have faith, those stories would have been turned out a thousand times differently, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave this off here. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Christian news and for more content that I believe God is putting on my heart to share with you.